Hey guys, welcome to another Surf Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGM007, and today we're looking at the Terra plugin, which is a really fantastic world generating plugin that is completely free to use. Now, at the moment, I'm just on a normal Minecraft world that you've seen a million times before, nothing special about it. But then, if I go ahead and flip over to the other video that I took of the Terra plugin, you can see how incredible this world is. So it's got massive mountains, trees, icicles and everything. There are incredible biomes. It just looks really awesome and would be very, very cool to play in and just something a bit different. So this is the sort of stuff that you can see with the plugin. Obviously, I'm going to have just a quick look in here to show you some of the stuff that you might see in a Terra made world. And then we're going to show you how you go about doing it. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and as you can see I'm in the plugins folder. Now the two plugins we need is obviously the Terra plugin and also the Gia plugin. Now that's going to be the API that it uses and you must have that in order for it to work. So if we go back over here there's a couple of things we need to do. So we need to go into the bucket.yml and then once we're in here we need to go down to the bottom and paste in this. I'll leave it in the description. And then what we need to do here is replace the world with whatever your world's called. So I'm going to do that now. And there we go. So hopefully your world name is a bit more simple than mine. Uh, but once you've done that, you can click save. And then once we've done that, all we need to do is delete our old world. Obviously, if you've got stuff on it, you'd want to make a backup copy. Um, so just, you know, don't delete it straight away. Um, but once you've saved your copy of this world, then you can go ahead and delete it. And then once it's deleted, we can go ahead and restart our server and then we'll see our brand new Terra world. So if we go ahead and join our server now and let the world generate, we can see what our brand new world looks like. So we've just spawned in and it appears we are in a mountainous jungle valley, which looks really awesome. I love the look of this. Um, this would definitely be a lot of fun uh, fighting over and exploring. As you can see, it's an absolutely massive valley. So if I turn up my render distance, we might be able to see a little bit of it better. So this is one of the new biomes that comes with this plugin. Uh, let's go ahead and teleport and see what else we can find. So I've just teleported away and found this epic biome here. It's kind of like a sand canyon type thing. And as you can see, we've got loads of different orange colors. It looks really fantastic. Um, I absolutely love how this looks, um, especially with the red and yellows and everything. Uh, very, very cool. Obviously, there is much more to this plugin than I was able to showcase in this video. So you can go ahead and download it yourself for free and just explore it, see what else it has in store for you. And here we are back in the SMPitnik control panel. And as you can see, there is a single YML and a couple of folders. So if we go into the config, you will see there is really not much in here. So there's a few different things such as the language that you can tell obviously it's set to English at the moment. And then down at the bottom, we've got caves. So do you want to enable or disable um, the caves that come with this plugin? Yes or no? But that is pretty much everything for the config file. But if we head over to the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.16. Uh, here are the different languages. And then here are some spoilers of some of the different biomes that we might get. So we've got the uh, snowy tundra one. We've got the desert savannah. Um, and then we've got that cool mountainous one we found. Cold mountain, swamp. Um, and then there's the Mesa biome that we just found that I really liked. Scroll down and then we've got the installation that we went through, very, very straightforward. And then if you do want to uh, go really in depth with this plugin, you can check out the wiki and really just customize stuff yourself. And yeah, this plugin is free. If you need any help, uh, check out the Discord server and I'm sure the developers will be able to help you out. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.